Hi, I'm Shalini Raju and I'm a licensed aircraft engineer in AirAsia. I've been with AirAsia for the past seven years. Hi, I'm Captain Shin. I'm from AirAsia X. I've been with the company for the past 10 years. When after school, I saw a newspaper cutting and about the AirAsia Cadet Pilot Program. That's when I enrolled in it and I went for a test flight to see whether we had a fear of flying. And that's when I was really hooked up to flying and wanted to fly the plane. How about you? So to me, it was all an interest and curiosity on how such a huge and magnificent metallic bird could fly so majestically up there and so safely. So basically what goes behind the scenes was the main curiosity which led me to a career as an aircraft engineer. The fact that I'm a female in a male-dominated industry is always in the back of my mind. So because of that, I feel that one should work a little harder to prove their credibility and competence in the short term. And apart from that, being a female, you will have to be positively assertive in certain situations sometimes. Since school, I've been always interested in science, maths and physics, so most of my classmates are males. I'm always used to working with more males and females. And when we joined flying school, the ratio was good, like I had three females in my course. It was quite balanced as well and everyone was respectful. And when I joined AirAsia, there were a lot of female pilots as well before us, so the company was very open to the idea of female pilots. But just that public perception that is that they seldom see female pilots and they get very really surprised when they see one. There's definitely heavy responsibility as uh, being a pilot and there are times that we face stressful situations and high workload situations as well. Every six monthly, and our pilots are to go through a simulator test where we are thrown at all sorts of emergency and abnormal situations and see how we are able to handle them under control and calmly and also how we work with other people as well. And there will be a flow chart on how to identify the problem, how to solve the problem and how to find solutions and all, involving all parties to solve the problem as a team. Well, myself being an engineer, during emergency situations, I try to remain as calm as possible. If I'm stressful, my mind gets deviated in some way. Apart from me playing a very important role in the emergency situation, there are a couple more of engineers back at base who play a very important role as well. Do you know that pilots can't share the same food in the aircraft? Actually, I've heard about this. Yeah, this is for safety reasons. We don't want the pilot to get food contamination from the same source. So in case of anything happens, that we still have another pilot who is healthy, you can fly the plane. And uh, another fun fact is that during the night flights, when we see other aircrafts flying by, we will sometimes on our landing lights and say hi to them. Hmm. See. Well, I have a couple of fun facts to share. One of it is the horsepower produced by an A320 CFM56 engine is equivalent to that of about um, 30 Formula 1 racing cars. Wow. And apart awesome. from that, uh, the cruise altitude reached by an A320 is equivalent to that of 15 Burj Khalifa Tower. You know Burj Khalifa Tower, the tallest Tallest tower in the world? Yes, yeah. that's the so one. Please do not be shy or afraid to pursue aircraft engineering due to the perspective which exists in the society about the gender gap. You should embrace yourself for who you are and embrace what you are capable of doing and do not let gender statistics define you because your career is in your hands. To all the girls out there, I just want to say whatever you are interested in or passionate in, just go for it, don't hesitate and just believe in yourself.